Ever heard of Billy Bean? You know, Brad Pitt in the movie Moneyball, based on the book by Michael Lewis? As general manager of the Oakland A's, Billy Bean had a small budget, but he still wanted to win. So he ignored scouts who relied on gut feelings and instead used statistics to find the most effective players. And it worked. Bean beat the wealthy teams, took his data-driven A's to the playoffs, and forever transformed baseball. There's a lesson here for Washington. Lawmakers base spending decisions on their own gut feelings, or even worse, special interests. The result? Less than one dollar out of every hundred spent today is backed by even the most basic evidence. Now that doesn't mean federal programs aren't working. We just don't know, because most aren't even evaluated. Wouldn't we make better choices if we had evidence and data about what works and what doesn't? What if we redirected spending to programs that work? What if decisions were made based on results? What if government played Moneyball? Both Republicans and Democrats agree that this approach makes sense. President Bush led an effort to evaluate the effectiveness of federal programs. President Obama is pushing federal agencies to use evidence in their budget plans. Republicans and Democrats across the country are calling for greater use of evidence in spending decisions. They're also looking at pay-for-success models where government pays only after a program has achieved results. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg has shifted money away from failing programs and towards ones that work. Providence, Denver, Baltimore, San Antonio, and Miami are all close behind. Moneyball for government is starting to happen, but not fast enough. Just like the Oakland A's, our nation has an opportunity to get better results. Let's take a cue from Billy Bean and use data instead of gut instinct and special interests to make spending decisions. Let's bring Moneyball to government and get better results for America.